In this video, we'll discuss how grit can be cultivated in the workplace. Think about a work environment where your failures were met enthusiastically and learned from. Picture an organization where teams tackle new challenges with enthusiasm and excitement, delivering projects well and in a timely manner over and over again. Now imagine a team that demands and craves feedback, being able to take criticism on board without negativity. This is the kind of workplace that demonstrates grit and resilience in practice. However, if you're in the workplace, how can you cultivate more grit and resilience so you can cope more effectively? If you're leading a team, how can you foster these qualities in your workforce? Personal Ways to Cultivate Grit at Work We've already pointed out that grit is more important than knowledge or talent. We've also demonstrated that grit can be improved. So, how can you cultivate more grit in yourself when you're in the workplace? Here are some top tips. Pursue your passions. The passions we have are usually things we haven't mastered yet, but that inspire us and drive us to improve. Passions involve adversity and challenges, but we find the process rewarding. When you're in the workplace, you can't necessarily choose your passions to pursue. This is why you need to seek for meaning in your work. When you believe your work is important and matters, you can find it more satisfying. Work on activities that you find exciting or make the activities you have to undertake exciting. People with grit don't have a job. They have a vocation. Practice makes perfect. People with grit work hard for their success. Hard work develops skill. And we all know we're more likely to persevere with the things that we're good at. To achieve anything, whether that be improving your sales techniques, getting a promotion, or completing a project on time, you'll need to practice. Yes, it can be tedious, but it's always worthwhile. After each task, you need to review how things went and what could be improved in future. Work on those weaknesses to boost your chances of success next time. Keep going. Keep pushing and sticking with things, even if you're desperate to quit. Persevering makes you more gritty. If you believe you can improve things, that improvement will happen. Picture your goal whenever you want to quit. Find support or read an inspiring quote as a reminder you will prevail. Above all, remember that it's normal to fail and make mistakes and that failure is necessary for improvement. Give your work meaning. Tweak the way in which you look at your job. Rethink your responsibilities and frame them in a more meaningful way so you feel fulfilled. Doing this will boost your performance and your job satisfaction. Don't focus on promotions or bonuses. Instead, work out your clear purpose and vision and set yourself ambitious goals. Most importantly, understand that your work is having a positive effect on other people. Trust yourself. Often, people facing setbacks give up. They believe they don't have what it takes to succeed. However, changing that approach helps you build grit. It isn't always easy to trust yourself and your own abilities, but it's a skill you can learn. Ask yourself what you trust most about yourself. Ask your colleagues the same question. Use the answers to reinforce your self-belief. Surround yourself with gritty individuals. We're all influenced by people around us. If you socialize with other gritty people, you'll naturally develop more grit yourself. Relentless drive and leadership. Grit in terms of leadership is your ability to focus on your goals and to work on them for extended periods, whatever the competing interests or obstacles. Successful leaders aren't just gritty themselves, but they can also instill that quality in their workforce. Leaders performing at the highest level push both themselves and their employees to push their boundaries, take more risks, and face more challenges. How can you show relentless drive through your leadership? If you're keen for your workforce to attempt new things and embrace risk, inspiring them is the key. 
you need to share your own vision so their work develops more meaning and they feel like they have a shared purpose. Helping every team member to see the ways in which their specific goals and tasks drive your vision forward helps to bring them all a step nearer to achieving the goals. Part of this involves setting high standards. Workers are usually keen to meet your expectations and not to disappoint. This means setting the bar at a high level without it being too hard to reach is vital. You'll need to ensure you're holding yourself accountable too when it comes to meeting the standards you set for your workers. Once you've set out the standards for your team and defined your goals clearly, you should give your employees autonomy over defining how the tasks will be done. Don't micromanage. Allow your workers to display their own commitment and ingenuity. Allow them to be free to experiment, to try new things, and to think in different ways. If they succeed, recognize, reward, and praise them. If they fail, encourage learning from their mistakes. Creating a workplace culture that supports grit development means modeling this behavior to the workforce. Show them in practice how grit looks. That means embracing challenges yourself and taking risks. Helping to build a strong and relentless team. With all of this in mind, how do you build a work team that is relentless and strong? Here are a few tips to point you in the right direction. Establish a positive work environment. Creating a work environment in which your team feels safe and know that making improvements is just as vital as the final goal itself is essential. Set realistic expectations. It's important to have ongoing dialogue with your team, instilling the concept that failure can be positive and lessons can be learned from mistakes. Set stretching goals. If your team stays within its comfort zone, there's a lack of creativity and innovation. Your team must be encouraged to identify its limits so you can then implement new goals to push them to exceed those boundaries. Monitor experiences. At regular intervals, you need to get team feedback so you can clearly understand their frustrations and pain points. Making yourself available to support them whenever necessary is key. Learning and reflection. Reflecting and learning is part of the improvement process. Identify where positive learning can be made from failures and mistakes. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.